Hey guys, it's 21 Maxwell here and welcome to another edition of Max 8 Recommends. Today we're going to be looking at young 20 year old Rodrigo de Paul of Valencia. As you can see here, I'm in January 2016, which is why he's 21. And he's been somebody that has just interested me for a while because of a lot of his stats and making me think that he could be a baller in the future. So just looking at the ones that really stand out in that number 10 role where he can be an advanced playmaker, attacking mid or an engash. You get 16 for dribbling. You get 13 for crossing, which is still pretty decent. 13 for finishing. The first touch is good. The long shots are good. The passing could even get even better than a 15. The technique's good. His vision's outstanding. He's off the ball's good, and he's got good determination. Even good composure, I would say. Things he needs to work on. He could be maybe a bit more aggressive, a bit more brave, but you don't really associate number 10's being brave. You know, leadership, he's not going to be a captain. So I'd maybe say just stuff like work rate, working on his positioning. And just really, if, if you want to make him, like, say, a captain in the future, maybe making him a leader as well. Physicals, again, he's still young. You can work on them, but number 10s aren't exactly good. You know, they aren't exactly really needed for jumping reach, and some of them lack strength. So I'd say definitely some raw attributes there that could certainly make Rodrigo de Paul one of these stars in the future. So let's take a further look at him. Let's have a look at some career history. He was signed for £4 million from Racing Club. And you see there, 23 goal, uh, 23 games sorry, in his first season, 2 goals, 3 assists, second season, 2 goals and 9, 6 starts and 2 sub appearances. So obviously he's playing at a high level, so it's going to take a while before he kicks in and gets proper football at Valencia. I know he's got a lot of competition in there. But I just feel he's one of the players that could, you know, really come a decent player. So his favourite club there, a racing club, he's a similar player to Danny Parijo, who people remember from QPR, a fantastic little player he is now. As you can see there, he qualifies to play for Argentina, although he also is half Italian as well. Might be an Italian passport. So he's nation trained in Argentina and club trained in a racing club. We'll quickly look at the scout report as well. So look at the pros and the cons. He has the potential to be a leading Premier Division attacking midfielder. You wouldn't want too much wages, so even if you were lower down the, the totem pole, you could probably sign him, even at the start. He'd be a decent signing for most Premier League sides. He's determined, he's consistent, good technique, especially when striking a football, and of course, he's versatile. My scouts even said that he's a, we should keep a close eye on him. And let's be honest, 18 and 16 from David Frio is pretty decent stats. Uh, negatives Valencia might not want to sell him, so negotiating a price could be a problem. He would need to learn a new language. He's a bit selfish and his lack of worth it, ethic, but you're always going to get a number 10 that's a little bit lazy, that's nothing new. So there's definitely decent attributes there, decent pros, some cons that you can work on, and even his wage demands aren't really too demanding. You see there, two-star ability could potentially be four, but at the moment it's definitely at least going to be a three-star potential. And considering this at Manchester United, if you can get him, say, I don't know, a Tottenham, an Everton, he could be a star player there. You know, or even, even more, it would just be like world-class for that kind of level. So I definitely re recommend Rodrigo de Paul. He's one person I'm keeping an eye on. I think I may eventually jump in, sign him, and see how he does. So guys, if you end up do buying Rodrigo de Paul, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know how he does for you. And uh, stay tuned for the review in another couple of seasons, once he hits his peak, once we review Rodrigo de Paul. So thanks for joining, guys. Take it easy. And I'll speak to you again real soon. Bye-bye.